I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and in this video we're taking a detailed look at the Rux waterproof bag, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Let's dive in. This bag is essentially designed to be like a tote bag style waterproof bag. So that's really great if you're somebody who's super active and you like having options for, you know, going out on the water that don't are, are not the same as those like cylindrical dry bags. It's a really great alternative to that for a couple different reasons. But we're going to look at the outside of this bag first uh, before we get into that. So looking at this material here, this is an RF welded TPU coated 840D waterproof nylon. So you can see here that's that like RF welding. Um, you're going to see that on a lot of dry bags. So that's not super uncommon. And then that um, TPU coating is going to help like uh, water run off of it as well. You can see down at the bottom, we also have all of these like lash points. These are 360 degree lash points. So we have them right here and then on either side. The best way to look at this is like being just kind of a symmetrical tote. You can see that there's like a big uh, Rux logo here. I mean, it's big, but it's subtle. I, I like it. I think their branding is pretty sleek. And then on the other side as well. So um, you've got those options too. Then we also have some like Hypalon material kind of around the, the tote itself. Uh, we have a G-hook closure. This is like a kind of like a, I don't know, it, it's like sounds plasticky, but like feels metal at the same time, but it does feel really sturdy. And so if you don't want to use um, the roll top closure, you can just use this like a regular tote. And so that's really great option for that. So it gives you, it like closes it without it being hard to get to stuff really quickly. And then there are also these uh, clips as well. These connect to the um, in the like utility rails on the 70 liter Rux tote. So if that is um, if you if you like the Rux system and you want to add to this, then this is just uh, like quickly attaches to the outside, or you can put it on the inside. Um, the size of this it's 25 liters and it fills up. Um, like one half of that tote. So you have some pretty solid storage options with this. It's pretty uh, versatile. Um, it's only 1.2 pounds, so it's not like it's super heavy when it's empty or anything. It's, it's fairly lightweight and durable, which I dig. As for how to carry this thing, you have a couple of different options. Uh, the easiest way, obviously, is just by these carry handles. These are like a nylon material, um, nylon webbing. And so these technically, like that, this nylon webbing and this nylon webbing um, and the nylon webbing on the um, shoulder strap can all like get wet and will retain water. So if that's, so that's something to keep in mind if you're planning on like submerging this. Um, but the, what matters is that your gear on the inside stays dry. So that, that's key. But then over here, if you wanted to take off the shoulder straps, super easy to remove. It's just like a G hook. So you just pinch it and it pops open and then you can remove it. So you don't need to uh, have this. What I ended up doing with this is like when I was, um, I took this on a kayaking trip, I took it camping and then kayaking on the boat with me. Um, so when I was actually going onto the boat, I just took off the strap and I put it inside and then um, I, I didn't have to like deal with the extra strap when I was actually kayaking. And then when I was done, I put the strap back on and hauled it back to the campsite. So it worked pretty well for that. This shoulder strap isn't the most padded strap in the world. In fact, it's really just the same material as the bag itself with those RF uh, welded seams. And so if you're looking for a ton of additional padding, I would definitely recommend doing something else entirely. Um, but when I had this thing completely full with all of my gear, I felt like this was still pretty comfortable. I didn't really feel like I needed anything beefier. Um, so if you, you can have a crossbody or you can just put it over one shoulder, I found it fairly comfortable either way. You can also just carry it by the handle here and it just kind of hangs down by your side like a traditional tote would. Um, so it's just kind of up to you for preference. If you wanted to stick your arm through this, it's a little bit tight, um, but that's what the little crossbody strap is for. And then this is easily adjustable if you wanted to change the height to make it shorter or longer. If you've been finding this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. So now let's get into this main compartment. Uh, looking at this, you can tell it's just a tote. It's just open. Uh, I have this hook still on, um, but if you wanted to just leave that, I honestly just kind of like let it hang out on the inside of the bag and it was no big deal. 
Uh, so looking at this, it is a 25 plus liter capacity. So that is basically, you can like pile it outside of this if you really want to, and then the roll top closure can still keep it in, uh, but that does impact how many times you can roll the closure. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, if these little hooks bug you, you can actually take them off. I'm not gonna bother with it right at the moment, uh, but that is an option if you don't wanna have to deal with it. Um, but for me, I again, kind of like this little hook here, they just hung out on the inside and they were never in my way. So I like that the modularity with this isn't something that you have to mess with a ton. It just kind of exists and then you can use it if you want it. And if you don't want it, then you don't have to do anything with it. So uh, on the inside here, I have just a couple of packing cubes to show you like how this packs out. And then I have a little folding yoga mat over here and then my water bottle. So you can see when all of that is out of here, the bag is still really structured. So what I like the most about this is that it's a waterproof bag option um, that just feels a little bit more packable uh, because usually when I'm kayaking or something, I'm throwing everything into like one of those cylindrical ones and everything gets lost in there. And I have to like layer it strategically based off of what stuff I know I'm gonna need first when I'm on the river. Uh, but in this case, I could just kind of like pile everything in here and get to it pretty quickly and easily. So if you look down at the bottom here, we have like a foam base and this isn't like removable or it doesn't like lift up or anything like that, but it does just give you a little bit of extra padding on the bottom. And then all of these lash points on the outside give it a little bit of structure as well so it, that makes it that helps with the packing now if you look on the inside you can see those two clips and what those are, are actually the part of that roll top closure so if you pull this out then you can look in to that tote and you can see that this gives it a ton of extra height and this is what you're going to roll down to create that roll top closure so i'm going to dump a couple extra a couple things back in here to kind of give you a visual and so what you do is just roll this up like you would a normal um, dry bag. There's a little bit of structure about halfway through. So you can see like where it ends and that just makes it easier to get a grip and just create that roll. And then you are all set to just clip it together in the middle. So a couple of things that I noticed with this was that uh, it could be a little bit difficult to get all of the air out of this thing. Um, like if you really wanted to cinch it tight and just like make it as tiny as possible, I did find it a little bit difficult to do that um, depending on like the angle that I was on. Um, and I say the angle that I was on specifically because when I was kayaking with this, I had it behind me. And usually what I can do is like turn around, reach back, unhook my dry bag, reach in there, grab something and then hook it up again really quickly but because this is so wide that angle didn't really work for me i was like i would struggle i would be like i don't know i would almost be doing this and then sometimes it would like unroll you can see that there's a little bit of a gap there so then theoretically if this fell off of my uh, kayak it wouldn't be waterproof because there's a spot for this to get in um, that is definitely something that's like the bag still functions really well when it's rolled properly so it's not an issue with the bag but it is an issue with like when I was using it, I had to bring it to my front every single time. So that was a little bit tedious, but I think that the trade-off is totally fine um, because you know the functionality of being able to pack this more like a tote was so handy when I wanted to get to what I needed. I wasn't like, I don't know, sometimes I'd be like digging around for what I needed and then um, I couldn't find it or something like that. So I think having the option to tuck this away is just a really smart design as well. So you're not just always dealing with that roll top if you don't wanna be, um, and it's not in the way it's it's just kind of like it looks sleek on the inside there um, and then it's an option if you want to use that roll top or not so there you have it the rux waterproof bag thanks for keeping it here at pack hacker your guide to summer travel and we'll see you in the next one